hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So as you might be able to tell from the title, we do have quite a massive Zara haul to go through today because I don't only have one box right here, I don't have two boxes. I have a total of three Zara boxes and those were three separate orders. Granted, um, also because like Zara goes in and out of stock with some of their popular items. So I placed an order, was bummed about like not being able to purchase one particular item because it was sold out at the time, checked back like a couple of hours later and suddenly the item that I wasn't able to purchase in the first place ended up being available. So that's kind of my reasoning behind having that many boxes, but I do have quite a number of items to go through. And apart from one piece, all of them are like new season items. So like coming out of winter, early spring kind of items, which I'm really excited about because I'm just done with this like gloomy, like dark kind of weather. I'm longing for some sunshine. And of course it will take like months and months um, for it to actually get warm. But going into spring each year kind of makes me excited to like discover some new fashion pieces. And I feel like Zara has so many amazing pieces currently. I'm going to include the product reference codes and also pricing details and stuff in the description box below. And of course, because I feel like a fashion haul without uh, like actual try-on clips doesn't really make sense, I'm definitely going to insert try-on clips to give you an idea of what the pieces look on me. With that out of the way, let's start with the first item. Chances are you won't be able to see that much when I'm holding the piece up, but that's what the try-on clips are for. It's a pair of cargo pants. <laughs> so out of my comfort zone. I never jumped on the bandwagon of like loose fitting jeans or like boot cut even, uh, mom jeans, no way. So buying a pair of very loose fitting like cargo pants is very out there. I don't know who I thought I was when I purchased these, but I saw a girl on Instagram try these on and she looked so cool with these. Plus, I mean like cargo pants are super on trend for 2023 and um, they come in two sizes. This is the um, XS to S and they also have a medium to large and I purchased both sizes. When it comes to Zara, I'm never an extra small and hardly ever a small, but I purchased the smaller size too because on the website it says that these cargo pants, which by the way are, they look, depending on how the light hits it, they look kind of black, but they're actually like a dark navy blue. Um, yeah, they, they said on the website that these are very loose fitting. So I thought, okay, yeah, while I'm at it, might as well order both sizes and see what they look like. And <laughs> I'm really undecided. So, I mean, this video, I, I can't keep everything that I purchased. Um, that was clear, like to begin with, I just wanted to order a nice variety and see what I'm going to keep. And seeing as some of the pieces that I purchased are way out of my comfort zone, I have no idea what I think about them because, um, I'm just too used to like skinny jeans and stuff. So I'm definitely going to need your help in deciding on what to keep and what to send back. So definitely let me know your honest thoughts on these cargo pants, by the way. Both the XS to S as well as the M to L is kind of short on me. Um, I should have mentioned that I'm 177 centimeters, so like 5'10 ish. Uh, so on the taller side, I guess. I definitely always wear the cargo pants with like some ankle boots. That's also how the lady on Instagram styled these pants. So ankle boots and then you can like tuck these in. By the way, you have these like drawstring details on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you can make them like super loose on the bottom and yeah, be like a straight leg basically. But I definitely wear them like scrunched in on the bottom and then tucked in into like a pair of ankle boots. Yeah, again, I, I don't know how I feel about these. You definitely have to let me know your thoughts. Next off is the only sale item in today's video. And I'm going to keep it brief on this one because when it comes to Zara, even their like regular price items go in and out of stock constantly. And chances are because I placed my order like one and a half weeks ago. By this point, this will probably be out of stock um, like for good. Anyway, I'm talking about this like lace like cropped kind of blazer in black and yeah just super versatile i feel like you can like dress it up dress it down wear it more like casually but also like of course preppy because lace definitely leans toward a more like elegant kind of outfit i think ah i also <laughs> already cut off the tag um because this one i'm sure i'm going to keep i think i paid like 30 bucks for this and chances are like full price would have been 60 around that but yeah love that so this is definitely a keeper 
Next off is one of the two suit combinations that I purchased and also definitely inspired by Instagram because I saw a lady um, wear this. I'm just gonna show you the blazer. I also bought the matching pants, but <laughs> showing you pants uh, probably yeah, won't really help. Um, you're gonna see that in the try on clips. But yeah, a lady wore this blazer, so black blazer. Oh, my light kind of washes it out, but yeah, it's a very dark um, black and you have this like one like fabric covered button right here and these like kind of like smoking kind of lapels beautiful like pronounced and um, padded shoulders but not like overly padded and um, just to give you some structure yeah she wore this blazer and like the pants to match uh, in kind of a sexy going out type of way because she didn't wear a bra or just a lacy bra underneath and I, I fell in love. That looked so elegant. I mean, the pants are safe, yes, because they are long enough. They almost are a little too long, actually, which is a first. And uh, so, yeah, the pants are excellent. They they are not like tight fitting. I've definitely got some room left around my belly area, but better have a little more room than feel like you can't really breathe normally, let alone sit down. But yeah, the pants are safe, yes. When it comes to the blazer, Realistically, I don't really need another black blazer, but even with black, there are so many like color variations. So um, yeah, pairing the pants with a different black blazer from my collection kind of, I think it would bug me because um, yeah, the color isn't like 100% matched. So chances are I'm gonna keep both. But the thing is, um, I don't really have that many occasions where I would be able to wear a suit combo as a going out look because I don't have that lifestyle. And for work, um, realistically, I'd be a little overdressed actually, unless like for the odd occasion that I do have a like very high profile client meeting. But like on a day-to-day -day basis, a like full suit and pants combo would be overkill. And everyone I come across in the office would be like, okay, where are you going today? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little torn because I love the suit combo and oh, the pants are just to die for. I'm just kind of struggling with uh, yeah, trying to figure out if these pieces are actually something I would get uh, the wear out of, but yeah. <sighs> By the way, we're like halfway through the haul, so I have a lot more items to cover, but I quickly wanted to like introduce myself in case this is your first time watching. Hi, I'm Leslie. I'm so glad to have you here. On my channel, I talk about all things luxury in particular, handbags, but I cover a wide range of topics on here. I film unboxings, reviews, shopping vlogs, travel vlogs, and like the occasional high street fashion content thrown into the mix. And I feel like with spring approaching, as I said, I definitely feel like more inspired to tap into like my fashion journey, I guess. So if that sounds like a thing, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I upload every Wednesday and I would love to have you back. Anyway, continuing on with two, I'd say two fails and I'm mentioning them together because they are basically fails for the same reason. I'm talking about this like oh, I adore the color. I do have a soft spot for blue because I feel like with me having blue eyes uh, that definitely makes my eyes pop even more. So yeah, I have this like cobalt blue frilly blouse with like the ruching details on the front and pretty similar. I think like same price but a bit of a different style because um, with this one you have this um, detail uh, on the back, this like pleated detail, whereas on the dark blue one, the color is pretty standard. Anyway, two frilly blouses uh, that sadly didn't work out for ex the exact same reason, uh, which is they are basically see-through. In particular, this one. I mean, with it being a light color, I should have expected it to be very see-through, but it didn't say anything about that on the website and on the photos, it looked like a very opaque blouse. On this one, at least it said like semi-sheer and I think I just have to accept that if it says semi-sheer, it's like 100% sheer basically. Um, I mean, you are covered up with this like ruching details because you have a couple of layers, but still it's very see-through and on the back, I mean, you're gonna see it on the try-on clips, but it's like super see-through, which is a shame because as I said, I do have a soft spot for blue and I adore both of these blue um, colors, but 
yeah, I'm pretty certain that these are going to go back, but let me know what you think. Continuing on with the second suit combination, again, I'm just going to show you the blazer and you'll see the full look with the matching pants, same color and stuff on the try on clips because the camera is too close. Um, there's no way I'd be able to properly show the pants like holding them up. But anyway, I'm talking about this beautiful like dark green. It's yeah, I'm looking at the viewfinder, it's a lot darker in real life. It's just that my light washes the color out a bit, but yeah, hopefully on the try on clips, it will translate how like rich and dark, like bottle green this blazer is. And this is definitely another Instagram made me buy purchase because I saw a couple of ladies actually wear this like blazer and suit combination. It's like a belted blazer design on Instagram and they just made it look so effortlessly chic and like cinched in at the waist and stuff. I think Laura Blair, for instance, wore it on her Instagram in a reel a couple of days ago and she looks amazing. Okay, granted, Laura Blair, if you don't know her, check her out. She's a UK based influencer. I feel like everything looks good on her because she's tall and like very slim build. She used to do the ballet, if I'm not mistaken, for ages and like her legs are to die for. Anyway, she looked amazing in the suit, but also a bunch of other influencers that I saw on Instagram, but also on YouTube, because <sighs> I don't know why I do this to myself, but I've watched a lot of like Zara and Mango and Primer calls over the last couple of weeks. And that definitely um, isn't something that my bank account is too happy about. But long story short, I saw a lot of people haul and uh, like try on this suit and uh, belted blazer combination and they look amazing in it, but I feel like I I can't seem to make it work. I also purchased the combination in small, but also in medium. Medium drowns me, like way too big, way too much fabric, especially with a blazer. I don't know how to belt it because there's just too much fabric. And if I belt it like correctly for it to actually cinch in my waist, there's so much excess fabric on the back of the blazer. So the medium is a definite no, the small even, I mean, I'm in love with the pants, they are very voluminous, but I don't think I can make the blazer work. So the question is, do I keep the pants and kind of style it like with different outfits or do the pants only make sense if I also keep the blazer? I'm a little torn on that, but I'm pretty sure that the blazer is going back unless you tell me I'm like imagining things and it looks amazing on me, but I feel like it, I kind of feel weird in this blazer. It kind of drowns me also, um, makes my shoulders like super wide because it's an oversized fit to begin with. And yeah, it's just the shoulders on the blazer go way past where my shoulders end. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to accept that this blazer isn't made for me and probably will go back, but let me know your thoughts. I love the belted detail, but I just can't seem to make it work. Next item is this beautiful like fuchsia um, two-tone kind of um, silky material. Of course, not like actual silk, but like silky satin material blouse and I adore it. Um, it's very, also very loose fitting oversized cut. I purchased it in a medium. Um, Probably you would have been able to get away with a small, but I figured medium is a safer bet when it comes to Zara for me. So yeah, you can either wear it. I mean, it's pretty like straight cut. So either wear it like over like a pair of leggings or jeans, leather leggings, whatever. Or what I actually plan to um, do with this blouse is tuck it into a like, maybe tuck it into the green pants. I'm gonna try that out in the try on clips. But yeah, I do love a pop of color every now and then. And for it being a silky material and I paid 30 bucks, I feel like it does feel quite good quality. And you have these like buttons that are also like fabric covered um, in the middle or like yeah, kind of a fabric and it's not see-through, which is a plus. So yeah, love this, love the color and pretty sure this is going to be a keeper for me. I realize I'm ending this video on kind of an anti-climax because the last two items aren't really that special. I purchased a bodysuit. I feel like everyone on Instagram and YouTube raves about Zara bodysuits. And uh, to be honest, I never tried one of their bodysuits. So I was like, okay, while I'm at it, might as well also purchase a bodysuit and yeah, we'll see how it fits. I haven't tried it on yet, but um, you can't go wrong with a bodysuit. And the last item in today's video are actually a pair of 
booties. Um, I actually uh, realized I lied when I told you that um, the lace blazer is the only item that I picked up from the sale because these were also from the sale section. It doesn't say the sale price. Full price would have been 60 bucks. I think I paid like 35-ish, somewhere around those lines. Sadly, these will have to go back because um, I just think the closure is a little too fussy. You don't have a zip or anything. You just have, um, yeah, you can slip into the shoes if you're not like me and you don't have like a very pronounced or like high instep. So yeah, for me to actually get into the shoes, I have to always unbuckle this thing on the side. And it's very, I mean, with time, I guess it will get a little easier, but Currently it's like very stiff, so I would always have to unbuckle this, step into the shoe, rebuckle the situation and same with the other shoe of course. And um, yeah, that's like a little too fussy. Anyway, so that concludes today's video. I realized I haven't filmed a Zara haul in ages and I'm kind of reminded of how uh, long try on videos take me to like film and edit and all that. So if you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful and you got some inspiration or yeah, like entertainment at the very least, I would be super grateful if you gave this video a thumbs up. Also leave a comment below and consider subscribing. That would help me out a lot. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm in desperate need of your input when it comes to especially the cargo pants and uh, the green suit help a girl out. I'm basically lost in terms of, uh, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about these pieces. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think I should keep and what I should return. And yeah, before I keep you any longer, thanks so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.